All right, so one more example here using the law of sines. So suppose we know the angles of a triangle are in a ratio of 4 to 5 to 8. The shortest side, me shortest side is going to have a measure of 2.65 inches. We want to find the length of the longest side to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so I'm just going to make a triangle. Uh, okay, so things maybe necessarily aren't to scale here. I'm just kind of throwing things in. Okay, so the angles are in a, uh, a ratio of 4 to 5 to 8. So the first thing we have to do is, is to figure out the angles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 4x in, uh, for one angle. This will be 5x. And then um, I'm going to put an 8x up here. Again, and if you think about the ratio, we don't know what x equals yet, but if we take the ratio of the angles to each other, those would be in a ratio of 4 to 5 to 8. Okay, well now um, we know that if we add the angles together, so 8x plus 5x plus 4x, that has to equal 180 degrees. Well, let's see, uh, 8 plus 5, that's 13. Um, 13 plus 4, that's going to give us 17x equals 180. So x is simply going to be 180 over 17. So let's see, uh, 180 divided by 17. Since we want things to the nearest hundredth, um, I'm going to start using, uh, you know, I'm going to try to be fairly, I'm going to use more decimals versus less is all I'm going to say. Uh, so we're getting x to be 5, uh, 10.58824, so that's my value for x. Okay, so we'll have to use that to get the, again, the angles. So let's see here. Um, let's see. The shortest side, okay, the shortest side would be the one opposite 4x. We know that has a length of 2.65. So maybe um, I'm going to draw my triangle here again. So there's our uh, 2.65. All I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to take, uh, I'm just going to take four and multiply it by our 10.58824 to get the angle uh, sort of down here in the bottom left. So if we multiply that by four, I'm getting this to be the angle uh, 42 point, we'll say 35 degrees. Let's see, so, okay, so that's good. We've now got uh, one of our angles and one of our side lengths. We're trying to find the length of the longest side. Well, the longest side would be the side opposite 8x. So we don't know the length of that side. That's what we're trying to figure out. But we can figure out, again, the angle that goes uh, up here by simply taking 8 times 10.58824. So let's see. So 10.58824. Um, if we multiply that by 8, I'm getting this angle to be 84.71 degrees after rounding. And now we've got enough information to use our law of sines. So maybe we can call again this missing side, we'll call that side length C. So now if we use the law of sines, it says if we take our missing side C over sine of 84.71 degrees, it says that's going to equal uh, the side length that we do know, which is 2.65 over sine of the angle opposite that, which is going to be 42.35 degrees. So now to solve for C, we'll just multiply both sides by our sine of 84.71 degrees. So we'll get that C is 2.65 times sine of 84.71 degrees all over sine of 42.35 degrees. And again, now uh, just start plugging stuff into a calculator. So let's see, let's do sine of 84.71. So 84.71, I'll take the sine of that. I'm getting that to be 0.9957. And the denominator uh, will get 
sine of 42.35. So when I take sine of that, I'm getting 0.6737 after rounding. And now it's just a little bit more multiplication. So 2.65, I'll multiply that by 0.9957. I'm getting that to be 2.638605 all over our 0.6737. So let's do our division here. So 0.6737. Let's see, I'm getting this to be equal to 3.91 uh, 65 da 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 da. Again, I think uh, the original problem said let's round this to the nearest hundredth. So tens, hundreds, it looks like we would round this up and we would get this missing side length to be equal to 3.92 units. Uh, I don't know if we specified. Let's look again real quick. Yes, everything was in inches. So this missing side length would now simply be 3.92 inches.